November 2023. Heart speak. The second brain. Since the gut is closely connected with your overall well being, improving its health and keeping it happy makes a lot of sense, says Raji Menon Prakash. After years of struggling with lupus, an autoimmune disorder, I was very upset to learn that I had also developed Hashimoto's thyroiditis, another autoimmune disorder, despite being careful about my health. I seem to have immunity-related problems. A desperate call to my Vaidya, Ayurvedic physician, gave me some insights. He asked me to fix my gut and explained that my gut health is directly proportional to my well-being. Most impediments that I was facing in my physical and mental well-being were simply a manifestation or reflection of my unhappy gut. The gut was not the first place that I thought I must look to find the cause of my autoimmune disease, but is my body's second brain. I discovered that my gut is closely connected to my immune system and that the gut microbiome, the environment of bacteria in my gut, influenced and interacted with multiple aspects of my health, including my mood and metabolism. The brain in my head and the one in my gut are also constantly exchanging information it seems. My Vaidya, Dr. K. V. V. Jeet, the chief physician and MD at Dr. K. V. V. John Institute of Ayurveda and Medical Science, explained that dysbiosis, or an imbalance between good and bad bacteria in the gut, has been associated with numerous diseases, including autoimmune diseases like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, psoriasis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and even Parkinson's disease. The Johns Hopkins Medicine website pointed out something very similar, hidden in the walls of the digestive system, this brain in your gut is revolutionizing medicine's understanding of the links between digestion, mood, health, and even the way you think. Tapping into the gut's wisdom. So how does one tap into the gut's wisdom? And what would truly make a difference to our well-being? The five-day, gut reset workshop with Dr. Harish Warrior, an Ayurvedic physician and co-founder of Five Elements Life and a yoga teacher who uses his practice to educate individuals about the importance of gut health, seemed to be the first step. The short, concise workshop gave me tools to understand my prakriti, constitution, determine my gut health, learn how to check for an unhappy gut, and methods to improve my gut health naturally. Dr. Warrior emphasized that proper digestion, proper sleep, and proper management of all relationships are essential in life. When these three areas are in a healthy state of balance, the body and mind will reach their full health and wellness potential. Thus began my journey to a better gut and a healthier me, tracking and correcting my diet, sleep, exercise, and meditation habits, and monitoring my energy levels early morning and evening. Dr. Tanu Singh, author of the book For Moms to Be, co-founder of Life Yoga, and an expert on women's health and nutrition, is clear that people need to take a 360-degree approach to their health. Yoga and diet, she tells me, are only parts of the puzzle. She bases her practice on lifestyle changes, encouraging her clients to tweak their diet and lifestyle, and making healthy choices less confusing and daunting. Dr. Tanu recommends practices that reduce inflammation, and fasting or rethinking meal times, and finding ways to manage stress using yoga and meditation. When I asked her about all the buzz concerning probiotics, raw versus cooked food, and alkaline versus acidic food, Dr. Tanu was quick to remind me that these are complex, nuanced health topics that can be easily misunderstood. In short, she explained that the body needs probiotics and reiterated that balance is key when it comes to food pH. She The brain in the gut is revolutionizing medicine. If the gut is alert and aware of the choices that you happily gravitate towards, then that makes for a happy life. It does seem like both ancient wisdom and modern science are pointing towards the belly as the barometer of our happiness. Recommended sticking with natural probiotics, listening to the consciousness of the body, and becoming aware of how the food we eat is impacting us. How to keep the gut healthy? So what keeps the gut healthy? Cutting back on sugary and fatty food, eating fruit and vegetables every day, and choosing poultry or fish over red meat, along with whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Include the traditional food you had in your childhood and eat seasonal and local. Add probiotics, Live bacteria, like yogurt and other fermented foods, such as kimchi, sauerkraut, kefir, and kombucha, which help to maintain a healthy, diverse population of gut microbes. 
Hitting the target could be as easy as sprinkling mixed seeds on your breakfast in the morning. The kitchen is the center of our wellness regime and the choices that we nurture speak to our gut. If the gut is alert and aware of the choices that you happily gravitate towards, then that makes for a happy life. It does seem like both ancient wisdom and modern science are pointing towards the belly as the barometer of our happiness. It's important to keep in mind that each person's journey to a healthier gut and overall well-being is unique, and what works for one individual may not work for another. My journey to a healthy gut has helped me become healthier and aware of what I eat and how my body feels when I eat certain foods. Both Dr. Tanu and Dr. Harish maintain that when we become healthy, we will like foods that are good for us. And they are right. Because knowing about the busy microbes toiling in our body, the electrical connections that carry their messages to the brain, and the brain's response can help us respect and understand our mind-body complexes much more and live healthier, better, and happy lives. Insights shared by Dr. K. V. V. Jeeth, Dr. Harish Warrior, and Dr. Tanu Singh. Understanding your Prakriti, in Ayurveda, Prakriti refers to an individual's unique constitution. By understanding your Prakriti, you can tailor your lifestyle, diet, and practices to suit your specific needs. Balancing Gut Bacteria A healthy gut requires a balance of good and bad bacteria. Factors like diet, stress, and medication can impact this balance. Consuming natural probiotics and eating seasonally and locally can help support a diverse and healthy gut microbiome. Diet and lifestyle changes Pay attention to what you eat and how it makes you feel. Make healthy food choices, reduce inflammation, and consider fasting or adjusting meal times if it suits your body's needs. Manage stress, stress can have a significant impact on gut health. Practices like yoga and meditation can help reduce. Warning signs of an unhappy gut, upset stomach, stress levels and promote better overall well-being. Proper digestion and sleep. Ensuring that digestion and sleep are well managed is essential for overall health. Proper digestion allows the body to absorb nutrients efficiently, and quality sleep supports various bodily functions, including immune system health. Listen to your body, be mindful of how your body responds to different foods and lifestyle choices. Developing an awareness of how your body feels and responds can help you make better decisions concerning your health. Gas bloating constipation, or diarrhea. When the gut is healthy, digestion and excretion become easier. Sudden unplanned changes in weight. Frustrating visits to the toilet, improper digestion, lack of energy, and fatigue, poor sleep. High levels of stress leading to high levels of stress-induced cholesterol. Drop in immunity. Increase in allergies. Benefits of yoga on digestion can help soothe symptoms of bad digestion like gas, constipation, and bloating, and can calm the nervous system and promote relaxation. Stimulates the digestive organs. Improves gut health. Balances the Manipura Chakra.